Trump effect. Months after attacking Trump's policies, Starbucks served devastating news by US4Trump.com. Starbucks is sliding down, 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 sliding down in the stock market, in the American market, and off the map, literally. The colossal coffee company plans to close about 150 company-operated stores in densely penetrated U.S. markets next fiscal year, three times the number it historically shuts down annually. Huh. Canada's Bloomberg reports U.S. sales growth has stalled for the company that brought espresso to the masses. With about 14,000 stores domestically, Starbucks is now pumping the brakes on licensed and company-operated locations with a renewed focus on rural and suburban areas not over caffeinated urban uh, neighborhoods where locals already joke that the next Starbucks will open inside an existing store. Does the new CEO really think opening stores in the flyover states is going to go well for them? The cafe chain said Tuesday it expects, uh, uh, it expects comparable sales to rise just 1% globally for the current quarter. The worst performance in about nine years. They are suffering on the world market as well as in the stock market where they are down. BNN Bloomberg tweets, uh, Starbucks plans to close 150 U.S. stores as it scales back sales expectations. There it is. Bloomberg's tweet. It's not surprising that the coffee giant is suffering in the stock market and the American market. Does then everyone recall January of 2017 when they called for hiring refugees instead of veterans? Business Insider then reports when Starbucks announced its plans to hire 10,000 refugees in the Next five years, some customers threatened to boycott the chain. Perhaps the bean be behemoth uh, would have been better off offering a specialty drink, perhaps one called Kofefe, from President Trump's now famous Twitter typos. Moreover, our president, who has a, a sense of humor, tweets, if anyone can figure out the true meaning of kafefe, uh, Trump supporters uh, decided it means coffee, just not coffee from Starbucks, coffee infused with making America great again. In closing, have you been boycotting Starbucks since they announced they would hire immigrants over veterans? <laughs> Absolutely. And will you continue if you have been boycotting them? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't want to be served garbage. Absolutely. They have, uh, they, they, they trash America. Anybody that trashes America, America should not stand behind them. And America has a voice and they're speaking out. And this is only the beginning. They're talking about a 1% increase in sales. I got news for you, Starbucks. Stop lying. User down like maybe 50%. Ha! They're finished. They're finished. People have woken up. Anybody that... This is... The, first of all, they have the satanic signs on their coffee cups. They took away the coffee cups with Christmas on it. Who's... Who's... Who's gonna buy that? If we support them... That means we're giving them our power in order to screw with us. That's it. So down with them. And they can't fall fast enough in my book. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.